Hey there, welcome in. My name is Josh, and today we're going to be talking about studying stylization. So, everybody knows that you're supposed to look at reality because reality is the objective standard that everybody is trying to aspire towards. And if you simplify things, what you're doing is you're simplifying from reality. So, the better you understand reality, the more you're able to simplify and stylize. But if you want to do anything stylized, you can run into the problem of not knowing what to simplify or how to simplify. And this is where looking at other art styles and what other artists do and what decisions they make in terms of simplification can help you realize what you like and why. So I like anime, clearly, and anime is a simplification of reality, but it's specific. So what makes anime simplification different than, say, Western comic like Marvel or DC simplification? Or what's the difference between chibi anime versus semi-real anime? And the easy explanation is, well, you just crank up, you know, how realistic it looks. It's like, well, that's... Yeah, but what does that what does that look like tangibly? So what I do is I go through and I find art that I like, like this. So the author of Overlord, you know, I like his stuff. I like his style a lot. But it hasn't been easy for me to figure out why I like it. So recently I've been looking at anime eyes, and I'm like, all right, I like this. I like these eyes. Why do I like these eyes? Well, you know, I noticed that it's simplified where they show the upper lid and the eyelashes together just by making it really, really thick. And what's interesting is that, that you know, at least for this one, Albedo has lashes on the inside of the eye and the outside. A lot of times, I've noticed in other things, they just have it on just the outside over here. So you look at this and, you know, in order to just stop being a copycat, you have to look at multiple different styles, stylizations. But keep it simple. Don't go crazy. Keep it within the same artist. So here's another piece of work that he did. Same artist, but this is different. Oh, what's interesting here. Now, she, he still kind of has the lashes on this side and that side, but not as dramatic. Something else I notice is that here he leaves the lower lid. He just suggests it by having it hit directly the wide of the eye. He doesn't actually contour the whole thing. Versus on this one, you actually see the black line go all the way into the inside, but yet he still leaves it open here. But yet a different artist that I like, Ilya, Kushnav Ilya, he is on the more photoreal side, and he gets a lot closer to, like, he actually shows the inside of the eye, but yet he still leaves an empty blank spot here in the middle, stylizes it that way. He doesn't have any lashes on the inside, he only does it on the outside. He does this cool thing where he can take a different color around the pupil, he, like, has, like, an iris within the iris, and that's kind of cool. Um, another thing you can notice is, okay, well, where do they put the highlights of the eye? So they break the black circle of the pupil of the iris there to have the rim light. What about Albedo? Does she do that? Yeah, okay, you have that same white broken light there. And you do this enough times to where you figure out why do I like it and you can start experimenting it and pushing it further. So if you push this idea further of or even this one where the eyes are a little bit more circular, they're not as narrow, and you know, the iris and the pupil are actually significant, like they take up most of the space within the eye, like there's not very much wide of the eye in comparison, like that's huge. If you push that further, you get this, where now that's even more simplified, and you, all you have is really the big lash, maybe one lash on the inside, and then one here on the corner, and then this is it, so you get this. And this is similar to this, but it's different. Most notably, the, her, the inside of her eye, the iris and the pupil, they are more uh, oval, and these are more circular. Interesting. And you know, and just by doing this, you can start to figure out what you like and what you don't and why. I always thought that I liked my eyes more realistic. I liked them narrower. But it turns out I actually like them bigger. I like them more circular. I like them more cute. I like more of this. You know, but even then I'm still learning, like I don't, we don't know what we like. A good hint is that all style can really be simplified down to its edges. So look where things end and you can start to figure out how they styled it. So I'm beginning to get a clue that if I like work like this, I like more rough, sketchy kind, like this is, this is cell shaded for sure, but yet it seems... It seems messy, but yet clean at the same time. And it's hard for me to wrap my head around. Uh, and like, same with this, like it seems kind of painted, but at the same time, not. You know, Ilya's really clean and he uses a lot of negative space. Um, and that's okay, like I like this, but I don't like it as much as this. 
or this. Why is that? I like this, you know, but not really. It's too clean. It's too cel -shaded. Now it is actually anime. It's a screen grab from an actual show. Like, so animators actually have to animate and move these characters, so that could be an explanation why. But then you can get, even, get into colors. And this is an artist. I showed her work before. She's over on ArtStation. Um, and, you know, why do I like this? And I figured out by doing values that I like, I like more desaturated, more neutral tones. Also through her, I also noticed that I like more rough edges, loose edges. Like, look at this. What is that? That's a, that's a stylistic choice. That's not an accident. Same with this. Like, look at that. Look at this rough, rush. Look at this rough brush joke right here, you know? And because it's rough, you can kind of say, oh yeah, it's cell shaded in quotes and parentheses, but yet it's, it's not. It's just a rougher rendering. So all that to say, Style, there's a whole world of stylization and it's hard to figure out what you like and why you like it. So try a good starting point is find something that you like easy enough and then compare it to other pieces of the artist's work like this. Do this step. Find a bunch. Okay, he made this and he also made this. How are they similar? How are they different? Both anatomically and then also how he renders them and colors them and shades them. So yeah, just basically try to figure out why you like it and compare it to your own process because you know like actually follow along because it's one thing to do this just looking at it but it's another thing to actually try to do it yourself and to actually make it happen like i was doing this study over here and i was pushing how hot how far i could take this you know, this three quarter view. If I made them more circular, if I made them more oval, what if I had, what if I had negatives? What if I just did that? You know, what if I just filled it in? You know, like and actually then I took all the eyes here, like here's Obito, you can recognize her, right? You know, here's Ilias. And I, I analyzed them side by side and then I made notes of comparing them all together, you know? And like, so there's a rule called the three eye rule that, you know, how far apart are the eyes situated actually, you know? How stylized is that? Are they closer apart? Are they farther together? No, okay, well, you can still fit a third eye here, even though they are bigger than normal. So, like, what is stylized and what isn't? And, yeah, get out of your head. Just experiment. You don't know what you like. You really don't. You really don't know what you like. And your style is just you discovering what you like and why you like it. And you can figure out why you like things the more you learn about art. So, instead of trying to go and thinking you know what you like, you don't. Just figure it out. Just just compare and try to... You'll surprise yourself. Like, I, I, sw I, I thought that I didn't like this. And yet, it ended up... I, I like having bigger, more circular eyes instead of more oval. And I'm still figuring it out. I don't... I learned recently that I like more solid, um, colored in eyes than ha actually having, you know, seeing on the inside. Like, I actually like it when they're all colored in. I think it's more simplified. I like it more. But yet I have to render it somehow. So it's just a process of figuring out what you like and just have fun with it. Just relax and then push things and stretch things and just have a good time with it um, and compare as many different things from within the same artist and then compare to a different artist. But again, everything is based in reality. So this is this is step two. Don't just rush to this because you don't know what they're simplifying. If you don't know the actual anatomy of the eye, if you don't actually know what a photo real eye looks like, you're not going to know what they're leaving out. So... That's that. Anyway, those are my thoughts. That's what I've been learning over on Twitch. If you want to watch me do this on Twitch, hang out with me, chat with me. I stream over there. It's a lot of fun. So come hang out. Um, yeah, I also have... What, what do I plug? Oh, yeah, I have my Discord. That's a blast. Come hang out with me over there. And then, of course, I have a Patreon as well. So that's what I've been learning recently. Thanks so much. I hope this has helped you, and I will see all of you next time.